I had a shitty day. I had a shitty week. I had a shitty month. I'm depressed. And I'm angry. Because again, I'm in trouble at work for being scary. Yep, that's me. Fucking terrifying. Striking fear into the hearts of mere mortals. I do not find this the slightest bit surprising that it comes within uh, oh, almost exactly a month since we got our new assistant, also known as New Spy. <sighs> Makes me want to write her a letter that says, I know what Yuri must have asked you to do, but you're a fucking adult, and part of being a fucking adult is not being a shitty person. And if you expect to have a good working relationship with anyone ever, you have got to understand that people need to trust you. And being a spy for the boss is not a way to get people to trust you. Or like you. Kind of go over that the hard way. Nobody wants to say a damn thing about Kanako because Kanako is a fucking... She's a piece of shit. I can't wait for her to be gone. And it's going to be soon because she's braggers and she's had morning sickness. So the sooner she's fucking gone, the better. I wish nothing but horrible things on that woman's career for the rest of her life because she's a horrible human being. For many reasons. Also, she's friends with rapists. Not a lie, not an exaggeration. I snapped at a four year old. No, he's five. He's fucking five. I snapped at a five year old this week because he came up when I was turned around. And he slapped me on the ass harder than I've ever been slapped by anyone in my fucking life. And I was livid. Because this child has taken physical liberties with women before. And I will not tolerate it. And I will not allow him to think that is acceptable behavior to anyone ever. I turned around and I said, Niku, no. You do not hit people. You do not hit me. No. It's not fucking rocket science. That class, those two, there's two boys, two of the three boys. They're not slapping asses, they're thrusting their junk at you in a really grotesque way that just makes you wonder what the fuck is going on at your house like I teach a lot of kids your age and you are the only two that pull this bullshit I will not have it I am your goddamn teacher and you will show me some fucking respect as a fellow human being surprise when I, I have to do this because my assistants won't. And then when I do this, Yuri tells me I should let the assistants handle it. Yeah, the assistants don't do anything. I have been punched. I have been bit. 
I have been sworn at, I have been kicked, I have been... Nothing. Then last, this last week, we've been getting ready for the Christmas shows. Yuri starts picking on me when she's watching our class performing, saying that I'm not being strict enough about their pronunciation, about their grammar and their presentation. So when we go back upstairs to rehearse again, I'm pickier with Yo. He mumbled. He doesn't usually mumble. I corrected him. I made him say it again. And he started to cry. Probably because Yuri had been giving him the sixth degree downstairs and I just got to do too much. But suddenly it turned into, I made Yo cry because I was too scary. So now they're going to take that class away from me after Christmas show. Because that makes sense. I'm so tired. I thought I could stick it out to like June maybe. Renew my contract, get the big bonus, get a longer visa, and then peace out. But I don't, I don't know if I can do that. But I don't know what to do if I can't do that. I wish that I could spend each day doing something that I love or doing something that makes me happy instead of doing something that makes me anxious and angry and afraid. Something that makes me feel powerless, makes me feel violated it just Yuri had the gall to tell me that I should be appreciative of all the freedoms that they like gives me freedoms to be your personal punching bag freedoms to be questioned left, right, and center. Freedoms to be like, when have I ever gotten feedback from her that wasn't past the point of correction? When is she, I don't think, I told them a year ago that if something is wrong, they have to tell me so that I can fix it. I'm not a fucking mind reader. But here they go again with this bullshit about how they've been waiting and they were so nice not to tell me that there were whatever the fuck the difference. I don't even know. I spent 30 minutes trying to get her to give me specific feedback and she wouldn't fucking do it. What am I going to do? In a perfect world, my contract would end in March. I would go work for World Family and Telephone English. That would be enough to live on. I'd get to perform. 
I could get a book deal and I could write. Or someone would hear my singing demo and think I had a nice voice. Give me some work for that. Perfect world. I've come too far to to go back. I can't go back. Where would I go? <laughs> Where would I go? stability at the cost of my happiness and my sanity. I just want to do something where I feel like I'm making a difference somewhere or affecting someone. I want to feel like I have a purpose, <laughs> but I don't. <laughs> I don't know how to feel that way. Got it. Putting one foot in front of the other. Planning as best I can. As far ahead as I can. And I hope that that's enough. But I finished my book. First book. Start sending it to everybody who will give it a passing glance. And I have to hope that we get through this in one piece. Because right now, I see the psych tomorrow. Uh, I saw him two weeks ago and said I was starting to feel depressed and he gave me more Xanax to take at the beginning of the day and I, it hasn't helped at all. I don't know if I could suddenly stop taking it or not because it's benzodiazepine and I withdraw from those pretty severely. And he's had me taking one every day. But it hasn't worked. It hasn't done shit. Gotta keep <laughs> reminding myself that <laughs> at least I can always get a job I hate. 
if things go belly up, <laughs> it won't be hard to get a job. It'll be a job that I loathe, but it won't be hard to get one. I would really love to get that bonus, but if it needs. But I can't stay till June. I can't. So, I do it, Mark. Give it a month so they don't think I'm just doing it to dick them over. And then maybe I can meet out by May. That'd be nice. I was even thinking of offering to, you know, call some for them if they wanted to, but now I'm thinking it might not be fucking worth it. <laughs> anything worth it? Is anything? Like chasing after stuff I can't have. I try to think well, what would I do if I wanted to perform? I had to go back to the States. I just it wouldn't it wouldn't work. <laughs> I don't have the money. I don't have I'd have to live in New York or live in LA and I hate both of those places. I hate loans to both of those places. And you have to live there if that's what you want to do. I, I don't. I don't want to. I can't go back to the US. I won't have a good job. I don't have a very useful degree. <laughs> I won't have good enough health insurance to stay sane and stable. I won't be able to live. And I don't want to be there. I want to be here. But being here. And doing what I want are two separate things, and in order to make them the same thing, I have to take some risks that I'm really scared about. If I could just keep my eye on the wall. Keep, keep, keep my eye on the wall. I might be. Now I'm going to do what a crisis hotline caller uh, lady once told me, and that was to just go to bed and cry and feel better in the morning. So I guess I'm going to do that. Hopefully my doctor can give me some answers tomorrow so I can stop feeling this way. <laughs>